Welcome back. In the last video we talked about flow in Xylem. We're going to talk about flow in Xylem some more in this video. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over a second-hand investigation we've done in class. So I'll read the syllabus requirement. Students will choose equipment or resources to perform a first-hand investigation to gather first-hand data to draw transverse and longitudinal sections of flow in Xylem tissue. So what I'll do first, I'll go over those two words, um, flow in Xylem. Flow in uh, sorry, I go over the word transfers and longitudinal. Transfers is if you actually, for example, if you look at the stem, if you cut it into into like on top into halves, you cut for the actual tree, and you look from the top, this is transversal. So, looking at this part of the tree from the top view is what we, what a transverse section is called. Right, it's transverse if you look from the top of the tree. The other word was longitudinal, and now you can imagine if you were to cut that into half from here, like if you look at two equal halves from the side, that's a longitudinal section. Right? So transverse was looking from the top, and um, longitudinal was cutting it in half and looking at the two halves. So I'll go over the first part, the cross-sectional. So what I have here, this is actually a picture, so you might have done this in class, you might have looked at the cross-sectional view of the xylem. So it says here, uh, location of tissue in a young, st in young stem. So you actually need to remember uh, this diagram, and I'll draw it as well. So I'll draw the parts that you need to be able to remember. So first, this is supposed to be the stem, the cross-sectional view of the stem, the young stem, which is why it's in the green. We have a pith in the middle, so that pith here, that part, that's the pith. I'll label all this in the end. Then we have these bundles, so these um, vascular bundles here, these ones. So these are like just grand ball shaped ones, or look like eggs. Um, so we have those, and it has three parts to it. We have the middle part, which is the cambium. So these two cells are the ones that, which keep dividing and make new xylem flow, the dividing cells, the ones in the middle. And then on the inside, we have um, xylem, right? So in the inside we have xylem. So you can see here is xylem in the inside. So all this stuff here is the xylem tissue. And right next to xylem is the phloem. So basically not next to it, but very close to it is the phloem. So on the other side is the phloem here. Can't really see, I take a different color, the red. So this part is a phloem. Then you have to still be able to label it, so that was the pith here. This thing in the middle here, the blue one, or the purple one, was the cambium. Those are the parts that keep the vine to form new phloem in xylem. The one on the inside was the xylem. And the one on the outside was phloem. And the whole thing together, so this whole cone, like one of these X shape with the phloem, xylem, and cambium. Those were called the vascular vascular bundle. So you should be need. I mean, what could be an exam? It could be a question about having to label them. Sometimes maybe to draw them as well, but often to label them. So be able to draw them, but also be able to label them. Uh, the second part was the longitudinal. So again, remember, longitudinal was if you cut it into half. So imagine this was to a, a phloem, but you cut it into half and you're looking from the side as opposed to from the top. So um, <clears throat> you need to be able to draw a longitudinal of both the xylem and the phloem. I'm not going to show you how to draw one for the xylem because it's quite simple. All you have to do is draw like a tube. Actually, I'll show it the tube. And then you draw like these circles, which are like, I'm not going to, my circles don't look that nice. But these circles are just the lignin. And what the lignin does, it keeps in place, so it makes sure that the actual tube doesn't fall apart. So these circles are supposed to be lignin, and they basically keep the shape of the xylem tube. Right, so xylem, this was the xylem here. What, these here are the xylem. Picture, if, if it were not black and white, probably be clear. All you do is yeah, the tube, and you've got these rings, these rings are lignin, and these are the ones that keep it in place. And the other one here is the phloem. So for the phloem, you need to know a couple of words. Um, these here, right here, are the companion cells. So if you remember the, what um, I said earlier, that you have companion cells. We might have a sink cell here, so a sink cell might be here. 
So leaf cell might be here. And it has to get actively pump sugar, so it has all that sugar. It has to actively pump that sugar into the phloem. This is the phloem. So the sieve, the companion cell actually allows it, helps it to pump this into the phloem. So uh, the companion cells are there to act to help actively pump sugar or sucrose into the phloem. Then we also have these yellow bits here. They are these here, the uh, sieve tube plates, sieve plate. And as you can see, there is holes in the middle, and that's the, these holes are there to make sure that these um, can these sugars can actually go through them. If there were no holes, then they would be stuck. And then you also need to be able to label this brown thing, which you just can call the sieve tube. Right, so the sieve plate, the sieve tube, and the companion cells. So this is the phloem. This whole thing is a phloem. This whole thing is a phloem cell. And the phloem consists of these companion cells that help active transport sugar sugar into the sieve tube. We've got a sieve tube, which is where the stuff will go down to, to the sink cell. And then we have a sieve plates, which are just um, parts which half block it, but don't really block it, but they give it some structure to make sure that it doesn't fall apart. But these sugars can still move through. That's for the phloem. And for the cross-section one, where you just draw like a circle, uh, fill it out, make it green whatever or brown whatever you want have a pith in the middle which is just the middle part of the, of the tree and draw these vascular bundles make sure that on the inside you got the asylum on the outside you got your phloem and in the middle you got your cambium right, so if you have all that you're good to go this is the last one for this um, quick module about water for transport and next is um, regulating substances hope that was helpful